Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today as you can see evidently on the board we are looking at the structure of amoeba all right just some of you call it amoeba amoeba some of you that like eba very much okay you say what amoeba okay but it's called what amoeba all right so that is what uh, what we're looking at today the structure all right how it moves how it feeds right and so on and so for how it reproduces Okay, so uh, do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. Like I've always said, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. That's all you need, all the past questions. It has uh, even the classroom feature that has lecture notes, structured according to the jump syllabus. So you don't need to bother about textbooks. Okay, it has a question search feature. You can search for question according to topic. So that the question that Jamba set under that topic will come up for you to answer. All right, then also there's a mock challenge that will conduct every Saturday for you to participate so that I can test and prepare you for the exam. All right, and so many other features, educational games, okay? You can play who wants to be a millionaire, all right? Maybe you are tired of reading, you just want to have fun, okay? Just go there, answer the real exam question. So you, you it's, it's in form of who wants to be a millionaire, okay? So. Many other features just to make you what enjoy reading and what pass your exams. All right, all these features and all these features just for just 3,000 ever as at the time of shooting this video, it will increase in the future. Please, when it does, do not say, ah, no more, it's 3,000. That man said, oh, I did not tell you so. So please download the app immediately. All right, activate it and start practicing. So, so I do not waste much time. Let us go to what we have today the structure of Amoeba. All right, but before we do that, let us see a question from the app. To tell you that what well, these questions are set in exam, so you don't think we are playing here. We are not playing. This is a 2022 question number three. A 2022 question number three. And it says, Amoeba move by means of what? A. Flagella. B. Setae. C. Spore. D. Pseudopodia. Okay? So, uh, we'll come back to this question at the end of the class. For those of you that don't wait till the end of the class, that was one minute and run away. That is your business. Okay? So, we'll come back to the, to the uh, to this question and other questions once we are done with what learning about the structure of amoeba. All right? So, now, this is what the amoeba, okay, this is the structure. It's, you can see the structure as well. The structure is irregular. It's irregular. Okay? It has an irregular what shape. All right? So, you can see the food vacuole. And see the pseudopods, okay? That is used for movement. It is, it is pseudopodia for movement, actually, from the question. So it is pseudopods for movement. And see the nucleus, see the cytoplasm, all right? See the contractor vacuum, where also uh, osmo regulation takes place, okay? And then you have the membrane, all right? Then you have the food, uh, the food is a food particle, okay? So the it engulfs what is food particle, it engulfs it, all right? So let's, let's quickly talk about the structure of the amoeba. The amoeba is a protozoa. It's a protozoan, protozoan, which is found mostly in ponds. It's found mostly in ponds, in ponds, V-O-N-D-S, okay? So amoeba is what is a protozoa that is what mostly found in what? In ponds, okay? It is a unicellular organism. Of course, in the last episode, we'll talk about single or free living organisms, or the unicellular organisms who mention what amoeba among what one of them. Okay, so it is a unis it's a it's a unicellular what organism with irregular shape. The shape is irregular. Okay, it's a what it's a uh, unicellular organism with what with irregular shape. It has what an irregular what shape. It has an irregular shape. So we can say, we say it's a protozoan and mostly found in ponds. It's a unicellular organism that has what? Irregular shape. Okay, also it has a cell membrane. It has a cell membrane, as you can see here. You can see the cell membrane, which encapsulates, you can see the nucleus. You can see the nucleus, you can see the cytoplasm, all right? You can see the what? The vacuole, okay? So it has a what? A, a nuclear membrane. Uh, it has what? A membrane which what? Encapsulates the cytoplasm, which encapsulates the what? The nucleus, which encapsulates what? The what? The, the food vacuole or what? The vacuum, all right? So that is what? The amoeba. That is the amoeba, all right? So now, the vacuoles in amoeba, the vacuoles in amoeba, they are contractor, as you can see here. That's a contractor vacuum. Okay, by contractor means what? It can change, okay, according to its needs. Okay, it can change according to its needs. All right, so if it needs food, 
Okay, if it, if, if it wants to maybe expel water from the body, maybe there's some excess water in the cytoplasm, okay, the controller vacuum would expel it out of the body, all right? So, uh, the controller vacuum, in what, in, in amoeba is what, uh, can change, okay, according what to its needs, okay? The storage unit, the storage unit, okay, of the amoeba, okay, the storage unit of the cell, okay, of amoeba is what, is the vacuum. The vacuum is the storage unit of the of the amoeba this the vacuum is the storage unit of the amoeba okay in amoeba it helps in removing waste like i've talked about like this contractor vacuum all right so to, uh, not only waste uh, for osmo regulation contractor vacuum for osmo regulation for internal balance okay for water balance okay internal water balance okay so it uses what contractor vacuum also uh for removing waste from the body it uses what the vacuum okay so when let's say the when the cytoplasm accesses water, it can what be expelled out of the body of the amoeba using by what by the vacuum. The vacuum can expel the excess water out of the body. All right. So amoeba moves by means of pseudopodia, as we talked about before. Pseudopods, you can see what this to pull This pseudopod are extended what membranes. They extended what part of the what of the membrane. They extended parts of the membrane. Okay. Pseudopods. Okay. That's what they use for for movement. They use it for for movement. Also, they also use it for to catch their prey. To catch their prey. P R E Y. They also use it to catch their prey. All right. So please take note of what of that. So they move. Amoeba was moves a protozoa that moves with the aid of what or pseudopods or what pseudopodia. Okay, pseudopodia. Okay, it also moves by means of what of pseudopoda. Pseudopoda are the extended parts of the cell membranes. Okay, so it helps. It also helps uh, it to what to catch its prey. To catch what it's prey. The body flows around the world, the full particle. Like look at this full particle here now. All right. So the body, what we 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 round the full particle. Right now it's like this. It's made. So it's what you can see that this you see that this place now we keep on when, once it sights what once what it's, 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 it gets close to what to its full particle, it's what it 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 engulfs it. Engulf E N G U L F S. It engulfs it. All right, so you see that what you see that this part will become will become will become what well, this side will come into where this side so until what it closes. All right, so let me just say that this part now you can see it will now come here. This one will be drawing closer, will drawing closer, will be drawing closer until what is now what engulfs it engulfs what the food what particle. Okay, so it does this by by the process by we call of phagocytosis. Okay, phagocytosis. All right, so this is the process about. In which what the uh, the amoeba what engulfs what it's prey or engulfs what food particles. Okay, it's called phagocytosis. Let me put that down. Phagocytosis. Okay, okay. So that is the process. It's engulfs what food particles by a process that we call what phagocytosis. All right. So please take note of that. So amoeba reproduces by means of fission. It reproduces by means of fission. Fission. Another one is by sporulation. Okay, and amoeba what reproduces by means of what of fission, and the second one is also by what by sporulation. Usually in your level, you may not really talk about talk about what sporulation, all right? But it's of course fission, all right? Fission. It just the fission is nothing less, nothing more than cell division. Okay, cell division. That's what fission is. Okay, so. Uh, amoeba would produce by means of what? By fish, means of what? Of fission and what? And sporulation. Fission is nothing but what? But cell division, as I have said, from the parent cell, from the parent cell to the nucleus, to, to the to nucleus dividing, then to the cytoplasm dividing, dividing, then to the formation of two daughter cells. Okay? So that is what fission, basically fission, cell division. All right? From the parent cell, from the parent cell, then to the what? To the nucleus dividing, then to the cytoplasm dividing, then to the formation of what? Of two daughter cells. Okay? Also, now, this pollination now, this pollination, that is pause. Okay? By means of spores. Spore. S P. O arrow, okay, by means of what or spore. That's for the sporulation. Sporulation is a process. It's a process by which an amoeba exists in a dormant state. Is is exists in its what? In its dormant state, in form of spores. Okay, an amoeba exists in what? In its in a dormant state. Okay, in form of what? In form of what spore? Okay, until suitable conditions come and then it converts to what? To the organism. Okay, so that's sporulation. Okay, so it's what it exists. 
Relation is a process by which what an, an amoeba what exists in its what dormant state in form of what spores. Okay, and then what it converts what to what to its what organism to the organism once suitable condition what has been reached. All right, so amoeba reproduces reproduces by what by fission and sporulation. All right, so that is that for that. We'll talk about what amoeba being a what a protozoa. Okay, and mostly found in palms. All right, then of course we we'll talked about. The fact that it is unicellular and also uh, it has what irregular shape, as you can see. It has irregular shape here. All right. So these are what the structure, this is the structure of what of amoeba. All right. So the next thing we'll do now is what is to take questions to what to cement our understanding about what this particular what topic. Okay, now let's go to the O3 School Jam app. All right, please, if you have not liked the video, what you are doing is wrong, click on the like button, uh, subscribe to this channel, and keep sharing this video. So now Amoeba, uh, 2022 question number three. 2022 number three says, Amoeba moves by means of A, flagella, B, setae, C, spore, D, pseudopodia. Okay, the correct answer there will be what? Will be pseudopodia. All right, D, pseudopodia will be the correct answer. Okay, you can see the pseudopods here. The extended part of what? Of the cell membrane. Okay, that the extended part of the cell membrane that helps what? For movement, helps the amoeba to catch its, what? its prey also. All right, now let's go to another question. All right, this is uh, a 2018 question number 11. 2018 number 11, it says, which of the following methods of reproduction is common to paramecium and amoeba? Okay, amoeba, we say that was by, by fission and sporulation. Okay, so A, they say conjugation, very wrong. B, sexual reproduction, very wrong. C, binary fission, which is fission. Then D, budding. Okay, the correct answer there about is what is fission. Okay, also, uh, it's common to paramecium also. Now, let's see another question, 2002 number one. 2002 number one, I say an amoeba and an unlaid chicken egg. Okay, and an unlaid chicken egg. Okay, the yolk of an of an unlaid chicken is what is unicellular. Okay, it's also what is unicellular. So an amoeba is what is unicellular, it's single and free living. Okay, so they say an amoeba and an unlaid chicken egg are a animal tissues. B, organelles, C, single cells, D, organisms, okay? And the correct answer there will, will be single cells, okay? A single and free living. All right, so now let's see uh, another question, 2001, number five. They say the mode of feeding in amoeba and hydra, the mode of feeding in amoeba, what, what do you say? You say that word, that word, it engulfs the word, it's what is food particle, it engulfs it. All right, and takes it out and digest it out with its enzymes. All right, and takes it into, and ingests it into its body. All right, so that is what uh, uh, the the mode of what uh, the mode of what of feeding, and that is by by phagocytosis. So they say the mode of feeding in amoeba and hydra is a autotrophic, b heterotrophic, c symbiotic, d holophytic. That means that what if this food particle is what it is engulfing. That means it's not producing its own food. It does not have chlorophyll to produce its own food. That's why the, the amoeba is what is heterotrophic. All right? It's heterotrophic. It exhibits what heterotrophic mode of nutrition. All right? So please take note of that. All right? So it engulfs its what is food particle process called phagocytosis. All right? Now let's see uh, another question. Um, a 1994 question, number six, says, they say in amoeba, osmoregulation is carried out by the Osmo regulation is carried out by the vacuum, by the contractor with vacuum, all right, to maintain what the internal water balance, all right, then to expel what waste also contractor vacuum. So A, they say pseudopodium, B, food vacuum, C, contractor vacuum, D, nucleus, okay, and the answer there will be, what, will be the con uh, contractile what vacuum option C. All right, so that is all we have to take about the amoeba, about the structure of the amoeba. In the next class, I'm going to take the structure of the paramecium. All right, I would love to see you in that class. Thank you for watching. My name remains Masati. All right, see you in the next episode.